Hey everyone, welcome back to Jashelle Tech TV. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing full-time work versus contract work in software development and why I'm considering contract work. If you're new to the channel, it's nice to meet you. My name is Jashelle and this channel is all about sharing my tech journey. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like the content here and if you're interested in staying connected with my tech journey. So having worked as a developer for the past year and a half, I've been researching different types of work as a developer and mainly contract work. I think pursuing contract work will likely be the next step in my career. And there are reasons why I'm considering it. My research on this has included reaching out to developers who work on a contract basis, reading articles, and browsing contract jobs online. I want to discuss my research and mainly just discuss the pros and cons because the pros are what's drawing me to contract work. I recently posted a tweet to see if anyone could provide more insight on contract work in software development. And I got more responses than I thought I would. One response was, I love the flexibility it gives me and the variety if I want it. Depending on your circumstance, it can be a challenge to maintain consistent work, but I think being a part of a network of freelancers can help with that too. And someone else said, I was a contractor for about a decade, pros, flexibility in so many ways, easier to avoid politics, can make good money, the more you work, the more you make, can be fun to learn about business. And I also reached out to people on LinkedIn as well as Slack. This message was from one of my LinkedIn connections. This is also someone I attended coding bootcamp with. They said, it's not bad. You get to work on a lot of different teams and products. A lot of people are afraid of stability, but honestly, jobs just get thrown at me. It's typical to look for something else in the last two months of the contract though. And a message from a Slack community I'm on said, if you can manage your stress anxiety levels, by all means, go for it. Contract work is great in that it can be short or long-term, provides a ton of different, mostly interesting work and can pay well. But then you go through dry spells for finding the next contract. If you can manage your money and your mental health, when those times come up, it's a great option. These were all great responses and they all pretty much align with my own personal research. So it was great to hear from developers who have experience and knowledge about working on contracts full time. Now to clarify, I'm not speaking about independent contracting, but contracting with an agency. And here's the difference. An article on solutionsreview.com says that contractors generally fall into two categories. Agency contractor, an agency contractor works for a specific application development or contracting agency. This agency bills them out to different clients and projects, but the contractor is never considered to be working directly for the client. Independent contractor, they basically operate their own business. They choose their own clients, manage their own schedule and handle any potential logistical issues. Independent contractors may sometimes work with agencies, but they continue to operate as their own business. So agency contracting is more so what I'd be aiming for, at least right now. Although I think independent contracting is kind of goals though. <laughs> especially for those that really like to have as much control over their time and schedule as possible. As far as the pros and cons, IrvineTechCorp.com has a great overview of the pros and cons of both contract work and permanent work. The major draw to contracting is the money that you can earn because the company you work for does not have the legal obligation to provide such benefits such as health insurance and pension provisions, nor are they responsible for your tax and unemployment insurance. They can and do pay contractors higher hourly wages. The pros of contract work, larger salary, you are your own boss, you have flexibility between contracts, your skills are appreciated, you can benefit from a wide variety of work and so will your resume, better work-life balance, you stay out of office politics. Cons of contract work, your job security is not guaranteed, no employer benefits such as health and pension, there's no career ladder to measure your progress, administration of paperwork and taxes your responsibility, no guarantee of work, you must market yourself, you are easier to lay off. Now, some of the cons here are not necessarily always true though. I do know that with agency contracting, some agencies do provide benefits 
and they definitely handle taxes too so i think i think these cons are likely speaking of independent contracting as well and also i think you can measure your progress especially if you're getting great feedback on the contracts you've worked on and if you're with an agency you don't really need to market yourself since they're the ones handling finding the contracts for you and they also have the pros and cons of permanent work job security and employer provided benefits are the two major advantages of permanent work your employer will also pay for your training. You won't need to market your skills unless you want to change jobs. While the opportunity to progress will provide a measure of success, career progression is not always assured, especially if there are a few internal promotion opportunities. In exchange for the benefits of permanent work, you will forgo the higher earning potential of contract work, flexibility, and choice of work and are likely to be drawn into the game of office politics. The pros of permanent work, job security. Now, job security is definitely not a guarantee with a full-time job. I think the past year has proven that to everyone. Regular salary, employer benefits such as health and pension, a defined career path, training and development opportunities. Lenders prefer permanent workers, employment protection, and cons of permanent work, lower earnings potential, no choice of the work you do. You may get paid leave, but it is limited by your employer. Personality clashes in office politics. You must conform to your employer's work hours. Your salary increases are determined by your employer. Your skills may not be fully appreciated and you may not do work that most appeals to you. The cons of contract work are definitely not a deal breaker for me because of my working style and with having an entrepreneurial background. I'm also extremely organized and self-disciplined and I've always been more of a self-starter, especially when it comes to my goals and the kind of life that I need. One that I'm actually happy with and not necessarily just going with the flow of what everyone else is doing. I do prefer to have that flexibility and be a bit more in control of my schedule, which is one reason why the pros outweigh the cons for me. My experience so far as a developer has allowed me to learn more of my working style and that I would like to work on more of a variety of projects and right now I'm definitely still enjoying the process of learning and just getting to touch different types of work and so that's what makes contract work more appealing so higher earning potential gaining new skills a lot faster control over the kind of projects that I work on and I don't think I mentioned this but I do also prefer remote work um, so that's another reason why contract work is a lot more appealing to me. And so these are all great pros. So I'd like to hear from everyone watching. Do you prefer full-time or contract roles? And what are your thoughts on this? Let me know and see you in the next video.